Sure it's not leaning to either side, which would indicate a suspension or a flat tire. And then, like I said, I'm starting from top to bottom, left to right. I got five amber in color clearance lights. They're not cracked, they're not broken. There's no moisture present. My weather seal around my head sign is not cracked or dry rotted. My head sign is properly mounted and secure. It's clean, it's not cracked or broken. There's no moisture present. My weather seal around my windshield is not cracked or dry rotted. My windshield is not cracked, it's not broken, it's clean, there's no illegal stickers. My rear view mirrors are properly mounted and secure, they're not cracked, they're not broken. My inspection sticker is up to date. My windshield wiper bars have proper tension, the blades are not cracked or dry rotted. My bus number, again it's going to vary depending on the bus, this bus is 1725. Little door in the front is your windshield washer fluid reservoir. It's got a cap on it, it's filled to the adequate level and it's not leaking. Bike rack, properly mounted and secure, functioning properly. I have two amber in color turning signals, properly mounted and secure, they're not cracked and not broken, there's no moisture present. I have two low beams, which are the outer lights. They're clear in color. They're not cracked, they're not broken, there's no moisture. Two clear in color high beams. They're not cracked, they're not broken, there's no moisture present. My front bumper, properly mounted and secured. There's no dents or illegal welds. And I'm looking underneath the front of the bus to make sure it's not leaking. There's no signs of leaks. Proceeding down the passenger side of the bus. Again, top to bottom. Amber in color clearance light. It's not cracked, it's not broken. There's no moisture present. I have a TSI security camera. It's properly mounted and secure. It's clean, it's not cracked, it's not broken. My passenger door handles, properly mounted and secure. My passenger door, it's not cracked, it's not broken. It's clean, there's no illegal stickers. The weather seal around the door, it's not cracked or dry rotted. I have a kneeling light, it's amber in color, it's not cracked, it's not broken, there's no moisture present. I have an amber in color multi-purpose light, it's not cracked, it's not broken, there's no moisture present. I have three entry lights, one inside, two outside, clear in color, they're not cracked, they're not broken, no moisture present. All my windows down my passenger side of my bus, I'm making a general, just using my arm to show the whole side of the bus. Not cracked, not broken, they're clean. There's no illegal stickers. All the weather seals around all my windows are not cracked or dry rotted. My side destination sign is not cracked, it's not broken, it's properly mounted and secure. There's no moisture present. Proceeding to my front wheel. My front wheel fender and mud flap, they're not cracked, they're not dry rotted. My front tire has at least 430 seconds of tread depth. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's evenly worn. My rim is properly mounted and secured. There's no cracks, there's no dents, there's no illegal welds. My lug nuts are all present. There's no shininess or rust, which would indicate looseness. My hub oil seal is filled to the adequate level and it's not leaking. And my valve stem is straight and has a cap on it and it's used to check the air pressure. Behind my tire, I have an airbag that has no audible leaks. I have a shock absorber that's properly mounted and secure. I have a slack adjuster with no more than one inch of free play. I have a push rod that's properly mounted and secure. My brake hoses and brake lines, there's no audible leaks. My brake chamber is properly mounted and secure. My brake drum is properly mounted and secure. My brake pads have at least a quarter inch of depth and no cracks over half the width of the friction area. My S-cams and U-bolts are all properly mounted and secure. My bus frame down the passenger side of the bus has no cracks, dents, or illegal welds. Coming down the side of the bus, amber in color reflector, properly mounted and secure. It's not cracked, it's not broken, there's no moisture present. I have two rear entry door lights. They're not cracked and they're not broken. They're clear in color. There's no moisture present. I have a rear passenger door. It's not cracked, it's not broken. 
There's no illegal stickers. The weather seal around the door is not cracked or dry rotted. Have an amber in color multi-purpose light. It's not cracked, it's not broken. There's no moisture present. It's properly mounted and secure. My rear wheel fender and mud flap, they're not cracked, they're not dry rotted. I have dual rear tires with at least two thirty seconds of tread depth, evenly worn, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. There's nothing in between the dual tires which can create friction or cause a fire. My rim is properly mounted and secured. There's no cracks, there's no dents, there's no illegal welds. All my lug nuts are present. There's no shininess or rust which would indicate looseness. My hub oil seal is not leaking and it's filled to the adequate level. My valve stem is straight, it's got a cap on it and it's used to check the air pressure level. Behind the tire, again, you have an airbag with no audible leaks. You have a shock absorber, it's properly mounted and secure. A slack adjuster with no more than one inch of free play. Your push rod and your drive shaft are properly mounted and secure. Your brake hoses and brake lines have no audible leaks. Your brake chamber and brake drum are properly mounted and secure. And your brake pads have at least a quarter inch of depth and no cracks over half the width of the friction area. And your S cams and U bolts are properly mounted and secure. Proceeding back. You have a red in color clearance light. It's not cracked, it's not broken. There's no moisture, it's properly mounted and secure. You gotta open this door. This is your primary CNG. You have a manual shutoff valve. You have a fill receptacle. You have a high pressure gauge. You have a low pressure gauge. You have a secondary fill receptacle. And you have a defuel receptacle. And you have a safety mechanism that if the bus is running and this loses contact, the bus will shut off. And the diagram for your eight CNG tanks on top of the bus. Close this. This is where you'll use the key. All right, again, left to right, secondary CNG fill. Behind that is your governor. Back there. You got your hoses and your wires. They're not cut, they're not frayed, there's no leaks. The big chamber here is your hydraulic fluid reservoir. You have an oil filter spinner, that's the second biggest tank back there. The white tank is your CNG filter, which is your gas filter. You have an air tank here leading to your dual air dryers. All properly mounted and secure, no audible leaks, no visual leaks. Good. for the next person. Um, again, top to bottom, left to right. You have a muffler, properly mounted and secure. No foreign objects or foreign debris. Five red and colored clearance lights. They're not cracked, they're not broken, there's no moisture present. See what I'm saying? The back of this bus doesn't have a camera. That's why it wasn't on. Okay. All the buses are getting a backup camera now, so they'll, they'll have it. You'll have a backup camera, it's properly mounted and secure, it's not cracked, it's not broken, it's clean. Four red and color brake lights. They're not cracked, they're not broken, there's no moisture present. Four amber in color multi-purpose lights. They're not cracked, they're not broken, there's no moisture. Two clear in color reverse lights. They're not cracked, they're not broken, there's no moisture present. Two red in color reflectors. They're not cracked, they're not broken, there's no moisture present. My bus is number 1725. My rear destination sign is properly mounted and secure. It's not cracked, it's not broken, there's no moisture. My license plate is MT47403. My rear bumper is properly mounted and secure. There's no cracks, dents, or illegal welds. I'm looking under my bust, no signs of leaks. I'm gonna open the engine compartment. Like I said, guys, the newer buses will be a little different, not much. 
coolant reservoir is like this big. Coolant reservoir, it's got a cap. It's not leaking, it's filled to the adequate level. Your radiator's in the same place. Properly mounted secure, there's no signs of soot, which would indicate a leak. Your hoses, your wires, all your clamps, properly mounted secure. There's no leaks from your hoses. There's no cut or fraise in your wires. You got your transmission dipstick here. Properly mounted, it's not signs of leaks. Your oil dipstick on these older buses is on this side. To check your oil level, you would pull this out, clean it off, put it back in, pull it out to check the level. Diagnostic box is what the mechanics use to check for the error codes on the bus. Your oil fill, it's got a proper cap, there's no signs of leaks. You have two gauges on the right side, which will be functioning properly when the bus is running. You have a battery jump port with no signs of corrosion. You can proceed to open this door. Top component is your alternator. It's belt driven. Water pump, also belt driven. AC compressor, also belt driven. My belts have no more than three quarter inch of play. Behind the AC compressor is your power steering and it's gear driven. That's the only thing that's gear driven on the bus. And then if you want to mention, it's a Cummings six cylinder turbo engine. side of your bus this is where you got to stay I would name everything the same on this side as I did on that side except for the unique differences this is where you would open this panel so on this bus you have five radiator fans they're properly mounted and secure all your wires they're not cut they're not frayed you could actually see the airbag and the shock absorber here. You can see your wires behind here are not cut or not frayed. You can see some of your exhaust pipes. There's no signs of leaks. See, this is how you name all this. On the other side. Online presence. This is your air valve compartment. No signs of leaks. Our valves are drained nightly. Your battery disconnect to compartment. No corrosion present. The wires aren't cut or frayed, and your battery jump port has no corrosion. Your steering wheel has no more than 10% of free play. Connecting to your steering linkage and gearbox with a series of castle nuts and cotter pins properly mounted and secure and it's properly lubricated. Outside is done. Done.